Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I've actually sat in front of the camera and I think just talked in general. The last few videos that I posted were all ASMR silent vlog type videos so I wanted to kind of switch it up because I did feel like my channel was turning more into coffee related content and prior to the whole lockdown my primary focus was lifestyle and travel. I was traveling full time for two years so staying at home I just felt like I needed to adjust and um, in the beginning it was hard for me because I didn't really know how to adjust but um, I found my way to coffee and that's something that made me super happy and kind of like calmed my anxiety it was therapeutic for me so that's something that I dove into a lot deeper and then I just found peace in making those silent vlogs so that's why I uploaded a lot of those types of videos but I recently got the Dyson Airwrap complete and I wanted to do a video on it because I did have some people request on my Instagram stories to do so I went to go visit my family Family, and my cousin she brought her air wrap complete at first I was very skeptical because I was like this thing is super expensive and I already have a curling iron why do I need this whole kit until I use the curling barrels and I just completely fell in love I've never had my curls so healthy light and bouncy and also give me so much volume because my hair is generally super flat and it was able to produce these types of curls without all of that heat to damage my hair so I thought that was a plus and around the holidays they came out with the copper set which I have right in front of me right here so the cool thing about the whole set is that it comes with this hard case that stores all of the attachments as well as the base so it's great if you just want to carry it somewhere with you around the house use it and then put it away without having to worry about like where all of these attachments are gonna go. Another thing that it comes with which I love is the felt travel case and it's pretty spacious and big so you can store all of your um, attachments if you want it to bring it with you and then the base. So now I'm just gonna quickly go over everything that's in the storage case starting from left to right. So the first attachment on the left is the pre-styling dryer and it's pretty much just a mini version of the hair dryer and what I love about this is the accessibility. I used to travel with the hair dryer and that one is super big and bulky. Now I just have everything I need all in one and it attaches to the same barrel so I don't have to bring so many different things. So right next to that are the air wrap barrels and it comes with four so two for each side and the ones in the middle right here are the 1.6 inch barrels and these are the thicker ones if you want more loose waves and curls and then these are the 1.2 inch curls which is the one that I use on my hair today. For size reference this is how it looks. Also another thing to keep in mind is these are the shorter barrels. They do sell the longer ones on their website separately if you guys have longer hair but I would say my hair is pretty long and I haven't had any issues as you guys will see later in the tutorial. So next up we have the firm smoothing brush which has firmer bristles and then the soft smoothing brush which has softer bristles. Lastly is this round volumizing brush and I love using this for the front pieces of my hair since they are a little bit shorter but this is great because like with all the other attachments they are like a two-in-one so you can blow dry your hair and kind of style at the same time if you want it a little bit more wave you want it more volumized up here you can do that and yeah that is pretty much it for all of the attachments and they're super easy to attach so all you do to release is you just push this down to the unlock and you just pull up and if you wanted to change the attachment you just put another one on and it just snaps right in place now on the front here you have the on off switch but if you just hold this all the way up to the blue it releases cold air and what this does especially for when you curl hair is that it sets the curl in place and this I explained further in the tutorial part but you take your curl and obviously it's gonna blow out hot air and when you feel that it's nice and hot you just hold it to the cool setting wait till your hair gets cold and then you release and that just helps set your curl and makes it last a lot longer on this side you have your fan speed and then here you have the temperature and one last thing that comes in a storage case is this non-slip mat and you could just put your barrel on top when you're not using it and then when you're done with it, it just sets right back on top nice and neatly. 
So I've gone over everything in the storage case, the attachments, and the base. So I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial, which is this hair look right here. And I've used the air wrap a couple times already, and the curls seem to have lasted me until my next hair wash. And I usually wash my hair about once a week. I'm guessing the uh, texture of my hair just holds the curls really well because I don't really do anything to preserve it Even when I'm sleeping, I just leave it as is I just sleep and in the morning I'll comb it out, but the curls will still be nice and intact But for those of you guys who have healthier hair where you find that curls don't really stay I would recommend using a little bit of hairspray not too much so that it weighs it down Maybe recommend curling your hair a little bit longer and also make sure that you're using the cool setting to set that curl in place but without further ado, here is the tutorial. I got my matcha chai latte that has been going around all over TikTok. People have been getting it from Starbucks, but I just put two teaspoons of matcha, two teaspoons of chai, and then oat milk. And it tastes so good. I think this is like <laughs> my latest obsession. So I have my hair towel in and I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, I think it's my night routine but um, I got this from Sephora and it supposedly has a lot of benefits to it. I have had it in for a little bit because I put on a little bit of makeup and also made my drink. So I'm just gonna take it out. The first thing that I'm gonna apply to my hair is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray and this just helps add moisture and strength to my hair. It also detangles. And for this case, it also doubles as a UV and heat protection. So I'm just going to spray this all over. Now I'm just going to take a, I think this is called a wide tooth comb and use this to comb out my hair. Depending on where you part your hair, I usually do mine in the middle. So I'm just going to make that part. So usually I like to go in with the pre-styler attachment just to kind of dry my hair a little bit but since it was already in the towel for quite a bit, I'm going to go in with the brush attachment. I have the fan on the lowest speed and then I have the heat on the lower one of the two. And I'm just going to go through my hair, just comb it through and then dry it out just a little bit but I don't want it to be completely dry. All right, so now I have it exactly where I need it to be. It's not super wet, it's not super dry, it's the perfect dampness. So now I'm gonna be switching to the curling barrels and these are the two different sizes as I've mentioned earlier. I'm gonna be using the smaller one and what I like to do is curl away from my face. So for this side, I curl this way and then this side I curl this way. The arrows are going this way, so this is gonna wrap around like this. I'm gonna go ahead and also section off my hair. I also wanted to mention my hair is, I would say it's pretty long and these come with these shorter barrels but I haven't had any issues curling with them. Um, they do sell the longer attachments separately if you guys do have longer hair and wanted to buy it but I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna turn up the fan setting to the middle and then keep the heat setting on the lower one of the two. So what I usually like to do is I'll grab my hair towards the bottom and kind of assist the suction as it's going in. And then I'll slowly bring my hand up until the curl is all the way up here. And this is what it looks like. So another reason why I really love using the air wrap is because I can actually feel and hold this until I feel like my hair is uh, warm enough that it's curled. And then after that, what you want to do to set it is you take this button right here, which is also the on off switch. You hold this all the way up to the cool setting until you feel your hair is cold and that's when you know it's set and then you can turn it off and then release your hair and it'll just make your hair last a lot longer. Now I'm gonna switch the barrel to the other side so I can do this side of my head. I'm curling away from my face so I'm putting the barrel um, underneath my hair and then I'll just kind of assist it as it goes up.
So now that we're on the top section of my hair, um, since I do have some shorter pieces in the front, I just section that off, making sure that I don't really hit that area. And then I'm just gonna start from the back this time. Now I'm just gonna run my fingers through the curls just to give it a more softer, wavy look. So now I'm gonna switch the attachment and I'm gonna put on the roller attachment. And I'm taking the front face framing section of my hair and just kind of go through it to give it some volume. And then you can kind of see how it swoops back nicely. And this is the finished hair. So that is it for the tutorial section of this video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. Um, if you guys have any requests for any other videos, please let me know down below and I'll be sure to check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.